This is the story of Big Mike's adventure from his jail time in Perth across Australia to Airly Beach to finally get to Biddy Who 2 and his good mate Paul. As I started running like a spastic from jail, I passed some of Perth's more prominent landmarks before finally hitting the great open road. Ah, oh, that's the life. I was lucky enough to be joined by some of Australia's great native wildlife on my trip. Kept me company, running alongside. Past some other great big rocks and stuff before finally meeting up with some old friends of mine who invited me back for a night of Aboriginal music and dancing. All too soon it was time to say goodbye and hit the road again. So I headed off to the rabbit proof fence that surrounds our great states and territories. Before crossing the border, feeling waves of emotion coming through as I knew I was getting closer, but occasionally stopping to enjoy an occasional sunset. Made it to the middle of Australia in no time at all. But it was important that some of my friends helped feed me when I needed to sleep. I slept with some of the native wildlife who were quite accommodating. When I needed to go, well, I went. I even had time to stop into some of the middle of Australia's yacht clubs. Marvellous people. Running with more Australian native wildlife. Ah, oh, it's great out there on the road. even met up with an old friend who was on a similar trip to myself. Here's a photo. He even gave me a hat before I managed to catch up with another good mate of mine, old Mick. Had a chat around the campfire. Where I had Mick enthralled in some of my sailing stories, it was marvellous. What? I was telling him stories about the times where we'd sailed for weeks on end with nothing but the other men to keep us company. And I asked Big Mick whether he'd sailed on a boat full of men. I can tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Huh? <laughs> but all too soon it was time to say goodbye again and hit the road. Out with the great Australian wildlife. I knew I was getting closer and closer to meeting up with my good mate Paul again on Biddy Who 2.